Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be having a look at Turbo Dork's fantastic range of metallic paints. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to Turbo Dork who sent me out the paints for review. If you check the description box down below you'll find a direct link to their web store and you can find out all the great paints that they've released recently. The 16 paints in the range and as you can see the bottles are really nicely designed with a colour swatch on each of the bottles which lets you know exactly what the colour looks like which I think is a great idea. Each of the bottles also come with an agitator which is really important with metallic paints that you shake them up well before spraying out of your airbrush. To get the most out of these paints it's really important that you spray them over a glossy black base. I'm using Vallejo Surface Primer Gloss Primer, but you can use other gloss black primers if you prefer. Here you can see the range of miniatures that I've primed all in the Vallejo Gloss Black Primer, and as you can see the properties of the miniatures are very shiny and reflective. Okay guys, we're going to start with Turbo Dork's Blue Steel first of all. Now my compressor is set to about 18 psi and I'm using a 0.35 needle nozzle set on my Awata Eclipse CS airbrush and I'm able to spray the paints out undiluted but if you're using a different airbrush with a smaller needle nozzle set you may struggle spraying these paints straight out of the bottle and you may want to thin them down. They are acrylic so you can just use water or acrylic um, airbrush thinner to thin these paints out. As you can see guys it's really effortless to spray these paints out of the airbrush and I'm able to get really great results. A thing to note with these metallic paints is if you spray in really light mist coats and then uh, build up the layers slowly you'll get a nicer result but I'm painting quite fast as I've got 16 miniatures to paint in a line but even so the results as you can see here on camera look grey. Please excuse my messy fingers guys I should wear gloves but I never do. So here we can see what the steel or the blue steel I should say turbo door paint looks like on a painted Death Guard Marine. Now we're going to be painting Turbo Dork's Blue Raspberry which has got a great transition from purple to blue and it looks really nice. Again spraying at about 18 psi just letting the colour build up nice and slowly. What you'll find is that when you actually got the paints in your hand and the miniatures in your hand you'll find that you'll see the colour transition a lot easier than it's actually being picked up on camera. And here you can see what the blue raspberry looks like on the painted Space Marine. This is one of my favourite colours out of the range I think. I just love the transition from blue to purple. I think it works really well. Now we're going to airbrush Dabba D, which is a very quirky name paint, but a really nice metallic blue.
and here we can see how bright and vibrant Dabba D looks. This would make a great alternative to an ultramarine uh, chapter as instead of using the normal flat blue colours you could use metallic blue which would look really cool. Now we're going to use Turbo Dorks The Ground Is Lava and that reminds me of playing the game as a kid um, but th again uh, this paint is really nice and again it's really effortless to spray out of the airbrush as you can see. Here we're spraying Turbo Dork's Cool Ranch. And here we can see what the Cool Ranch looks like finished. Now we're going to spray Turbo Dork's Murple, which is another one of my favourite colours. This purple is just gorgeous. So here we have Murple completely finished. Really, really nice color. Now we're going to spray Turbo Dorks Shell Shocked, which again is a really nice colour transition paint.
and here we can see what the shell shock looks like completely finished really really nice transition Another one of my favourite colours in this range is another purple colour and this is People Eater and this is such a deep purple and it just looks absolutely awesome. And here we can see what People Eater looks like completed. As I mentioned a moment ago, it's really a deep metallic purple and it just looks so nice. Now we're going to be spraying Turbo Dork's Afterburner. So here we've got a completed miniature painted in Afterburner. This would be a great colour for the ends of weapons and that sort of thing as it looks like burnt metal to me. Now we're spraying radium. And here we can see the finished look of radium, which is like a greeny goldy transition paint. Now we're going to be trying 3D glasses.
the color transition on 3D glasses is, is very obvious and very prominent and looks really nice. Now we're going to try spicy meatball. This would make for a great alternative to uh, Blood Angels. So Primaris metallic Blood Angels would be really cool. Now we're going to test out Turbo Dork's Electrum. And here we can see Electrum after it's been cured. Now we're going to be using Turbo Dorks dark net And here we have our finished result of Darknet. Now we're going to be spraying Turbo Dork's Seafood. Again, this is the finished result of seafood, a lovely looking paint. We're now using the last of our paints from the Turbo Dork range, Ill Gotten Gold.
and this is what the ill-gotten gold looks like fully painted. As you can see guys we've got all the miniatures in front of us that have been fully painted so 16 in total from the range and I have some personal favorites from the range like Murple, Spicy Meatball and Blue Raspberry which is a really nice paint but your views on what your favorite paint is from the range may vary but uh, let me know in the comments field down below what your favorite paints are in the range uh, don't forget to check the description box down below for direct links to turbo dork so you can go and check out the website and have a look at the range of paints on there and thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this very long video and i'll catch you in the next one